Hi, I'm the Romanian Vikings in Athena, and this is a Purple Pride video broadcast. Lot of rumors in Viking land. Well, stop believing rumors, guys. I want to address a few things. We have a lot of media personalities, and they are simply making up stories for content to post. They are trying to create controversy controversy to get clicks. These are opinion pieces and bear no real merit. Real reporting is talking about facts, not making up shit to get more clicks and sponsors. Everyone is just speculating this guessing, wishing and dreaming. Now, just because that thing you happen to be speculating on comes true doesn't doesn't make you an insider. It just means you guess it right one time. You and your fans choose to ignore the 50 times you got it wrong. I want to address the idiots who think that the Sean Watson trade is a good idea. You are all idiots. He comes with a huge priest tag and cap it hit. He has like 36 assault accusation against him. And he probed last prisons to be a real jackass. And people seriously want to have him on the Vikings. You are dumb. Absolutely under your way, showed the Vikings to try, uh, try to get him. Smarten up Vikings fan. Now to add the rumors on Captain Curry Cousins, trades and contracts. It's uh, all rumors, nothing more. KLC says he loves Kirk and is bowling on offense around him. Kirk was instrumental behind the scenes leading the charge to bring KLC to the Vikings. They work together in the past, they know each other. But hey, crazy things can happen. You never know. I mean, aliens call the land tomorrow and take us away in, the, in their ship. But in all like, likelihood, Kirk Cousins will captain the ship as the Vikings set sail in 2022. Now, a lot of people like to rip on Kirk Cousins. However, his teammates uh, all seem to like him. His Coaches, including Mike Zimmer, all like him and have nothing about no, nothing but good things to say. A lot of people are saying it's not the numbers or statistics that matter with a good quarterback. And they argue that Kirk is not greatest because he lacks intangibles that, that guys like Warren Moon, Tommy Kramer, Brett Favre, Don Tai Cole Pepper, or Evan Fran Tartingon had. So let's see what two intangibles are that Kirk is missing. Zero times he has been arrested for choking his wife. Zero drunk driving arrests. Zero dick pics sent to female reporters. Zero love boat appearance. Zero SIC violations. So I guess if these are the things it takes to make a great quarterback in the NFL, well, then I'm glad to, to just have a quarterback like Kirk who lacks all those intangibles. And now Evan the new GM came out saying how much he loves Kirk and how great Kirk is and how smart he is. But I'm sure Minnesota sports me media will twist that into meaning he, he is trying to trick people into trading for him. Do better school Vikings. I'm Dina Athena and this is Purple Pride.